What's up, soldiers? Your boy Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com vibes and up in the kitchen as usual. I had a request for braised pork belly. Now, we just came back from the Caribbean and I noticed just about everywhere we went, there was some sort of braised pork belly being served at the different restaurants. So here's my take on a braised pork belly. It will be posted on uh, ChrisDealerRosa.com, not CaribbeanPod.com. It's not necessarily a Caribbean recipe, though my um, my godfather's chef, well, cook, <laughs> would prepare this from time to time, and uh, it's based on that recipe anyways. So vibes it up, man. The first thing we've got to do, and I've got uh, sort of a deep saucepan here with all the pieces of pork, the pork belly, I cut into about one in size pieces. Just trying to come up to a boil now, it's not hot there yet. But you want to bring that water up to a boil and allow that, when it starts boiling, reduce it, <clears throat> reduce the heat to like a medium low and let that go for about five minutes. We're not trying to cook it here, we're just trying to get some of the impurities out of the pork. It's been bubbling away there for about five minutes. So I'm just going to turn off the stove now. And um, remember, the whole idea here was to get rid of all that impurities there and to um, not cook this fully. What we're going to do, and I have cool water running in the sink there, you want to, to dump that into a colander or any sort of strainer and run that cool water over it. I'm just going to allow that to cool down for a second. Then I'm going to take each piece and individually scrape off any of that sort of stuff that was uh, clinging to it and set it aside. I've got a nice heavy clay pot here. You can use any sort of pot you're accustomed to braising and something heavy would be preferable. Preferable. <laughs> a little bit of vegetable oil in there. And since the pot is already warm, I'm gonna go in with the uh, scallions. the ginger and I've got here two cloves of garlic which I leave I leave whole because I want the garlic flavor but if I was were to smash it it would be just too pronounced I just want that hint of garlic in there I'm just gonna move that around and let that sort of cook on low heat for about three minutes as everything wilts down and you start to get in that sort of fragrance from the um, from the ginger and the scallions especially. This is where we're gonna start back adding the pieces of pork and keep tossing it as you do so. Here's where I'm gonna crank up my heat to a medium high now and we're gonna start going in with the sort of braising liquids that we're gonna use. I've got here some Chinese cooking wine, some dark soy sauce, some light soy sauce and remember we want to bring this up to a boil so we really want to crank up that heat and water I want to bring that up to a boil give it a good stir and you need I don't know if I mentioned this before the pot that you're using it, it needs to have a lid so we're gonna cover this to allow it to braise it's come up to a boil now so I just want to give that another quick stir and try and tuck down the pieces of pork into the liquid. Just work it on the way, all the way down. Now later on you will be required to stir this, but for the most part, this is gonna be braising on its own here. And a key ingredient, this is rock sugar. Just gonna put that in there. That's gonna melt down as it braises. All the ingredients I use here today can be found at any um, Asian supermarket. So from the pork to the Chinese cooking wine to that sugar, everything can be found at an Asian uh, grocery store. Just gonna put the lid on there now, turn my heat down to low and let that go slow. It's been going now just under 15 minutes. Notice that sugar has melted completely, the rock sugar that we put in there. One of the things I don't think I mentioned to you all is that you'll notice that I didn't add any salt to this simply because all of that um, soy sauce that we use in there will be enough to season this up correctly for us. But near the end you can certainly taste the salt and adjust accordingly. Heat still on low, lid back on every 15-20 minutes I'll just give it a quick stir. 
it's been braising away for about an hour and a half now notice how lovely that color is getting that sugar is giving it that nice sheen as well I'm gonna continue going because I want this so tender man oh man lid back on and let it continue braising it's been going just over two and a half hours we got that lovely dark rich look at that just stunning beautiful you guys a little close up always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me I'm gonna turn my stove off braised pork belly since this is not necessarily a Caribbean um, recipe I won't post it on caribbeanpot.com but if you're looking for something printable I will have it on chrisdelarosa.com don't forget to hit that thumbs up man